night, guys. I don't know what it's like where you are, but where I am, it's hotter than three hills. And I just got done mowing my grass. So I thought right now would be the perfect opportunity to come in and do a beer review of the Palace Bitter. Uh, this is a recipe out of the Complete Joy of Home Brewing. I'm going to be doing a couple of recipes and then reviewing them. Um, hopefully my brewing standards are up to par, but we'll see. Um, I actually am interested in this recipe because, one, I like um, uh, special bitters and, and uh, extra special bitters. Uh, and two, uh, the recipe actually calls for all dry malt extract. Uh, there's actually no uh, malt extract syrup in it. Um, but it's, uh, it's a partial mash. It, it uses crystal malt, um, uses Fuggles hops, uh, East Kent Goldings hops, um, and that's really that's about the gist of it. There's a couple of different phases of, uh, of hop boiling and finishing, uh, obviously because it's, it's an ESB. But um, I won't go into a whole lot of detail because if, if you've got the book, you can just look on page 170 and find the recipe. And if you don't have the book, I'd say you need to get the book, The Complete Joy of Home Brewing. Uh, it's a great book so far. It's wonderful. But anyway, let's get to this tasting. So it's been, I don't know if I said this or not, I'll edit it out if I did. Um, this has actually been in the bottle for just under three weeks. Uh, I think we're about two, two weeks and four days, something like that. So it should be, um, should be ready to go, should be charged, should be flavorful. I have not had any yet. Um, so let's go. That was a nice hiss. Oh, it's also at about 50 degrees, 52 degrees. Um, to this pour, we're actually getting a decent head so far. I'll pour a little more aggressively. And there we go. I probably got a little bit much in there. Um, well, so far it looked good. Uh, the head is a little, it's a little bit large bubbled. Um, the color color is actually I mean it's I'd say the color is pretty close to uh, Fuller's maybe not as red that head's actually sticking around I'm surprised how about aroma mm, nice uh, nice hop aroma um, I'm guessing from the uh, the Fuggles it actually has a bit of a um, kind of a citrusy hop more astringent than sweet hops. Um, but anyway, yeah, all right, let's go. Mm. Okay, so the first thing that hits your tongue is sweet. It's uh, malt sweet. Um, and then, like, immediately after that sweet, you start to get the, uh, you get that bit of hops bitter. Um, Quite good. The um, the aroma. I'm not gonna say it's it's appley. Maybe like pear, kind of a hint of pear. Once you get beyond the hops, uh, the flavor is uh, the flavor is good. You get a really nice balance between bitter and and um, sweet malt. Um, I mean, I, it's it's as good as most any bitter I've had. I wouldn't quite put it up on the level of uh, like a Fuller's ESB. Um, I really like a Fuller's ESB. I don't think this is quite there. Um, but And it lacks a tiny bit of body. Um, I went straight from the recipe. There's probably a couple of things that I could have done differently and, and gave it a bit more body. Uh, um, maybe just using liquid malt extract would give it more body. Uh, but this, this entire recipe is all dry malt extract and... Uh, the specialty grains, it, it's just crystal malt. Excuse me. And I used a 60 crystal malt because I like that little, little darker color. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'm going to give it um, I wouldn't quite give it four hops. Uh, it's not a four hop. Uh, it's going it's to be about a three and a half hop uh, of beer. I'm definitely going to brew it again, though, because um, it's it's very easy to drink. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is actually for my wife. Um, there's a chart on here, just uh, basic beer recipes, and I'm going to end up doing a sweet stout. So stay tuned for that review. But before that review, uh, I'm actually going to um, do a review on the Southern Tier uh, Dark Porter. Um, I don't think I've seen any reviews on this yet. I haven't really looked for them, but I saw it in, the, in my beer store and thought I'd go ahead and grab it and try it. But anyway, stay tuned. Next review will be this, uh, the Southern Tears Dark Porter. And then after that, it may be a couple of weeks because I haven't brewed it yet, but a sweet stout from the joy of home brewing. So thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Cheers.